Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how this whole TikTok and Samron agreement works? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Cue the intro! What's up, it's your boy Skill from SkillMusicSA.com and welcome to my channel where I share information with my fellow South African independent musicians to help them improve on their music business. If this sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing. In this episode, I plan on giving you some insight on how the TikTok Samro Capasso multi-region deal actually works. Some of this may be speculation because I was not able to find all the news on the Samro website, but basically this is an educated guess on how the whole system will most likely work. From what I was able to gather from several websites is basically they will be licensing similar to how radio stations work. There's two type of licenses typically that Samro that I know works with. It's either they do a blanket type deal where they say, okay, every month this is how much you must pay for the usage of all the music on your site. Or secondarily, they might actually base it on the amount of revenue that a platform has made. I'm not too sure which one they've decided with TikTok. I will probably update that in the comments once I've gotten that information. But in terms of the blanket, they say, okay, every month, this is how much you pay. And in terms of revenue, they might say, okay, since you've made, let's say, 100 million this month, X amount, 15% of all the revenue that you make this month must go into royalties. With that 15%, they say, okay, from all the songs, let's say Skill, your one song has taken up 5% of all of that money, and then you get the 5% of the actual 15% that was allocated from royalties. But I'm not too sure how they've gone with regards to TikTok, but I am most likely could guess that they went with the blanket type of license. The reason I say that is because if you actually look at how TikTok actually operates, everything is user generated content and there's not a lot of advertising as of yet with regards to TikTok. So you can kind of guess that their revenue is nowhere near what YouTube type of things would be because YouTube already has subscriptions, YouTube already has ads and several other ways of revenue stream generating but TikTok does not have that as of this video. So you can can kind of guess that that's more or less the type of license they've applied. I'll try to get a hold of someone from Samra to give some light, but in terms of covering yourself with regards to achieving all these royalties from TikTok, the very first thing is that of course you have to register with Samro and Capasso. I've done several videos as to why, I'll leave those in the description below. The next thing is you have to notify Samro and Capasso of your works. If you do not tell Samro of the songs that you are involved in, they don't know how to get that money to you. So notification of works is the very next thing that you have to do once you have registered. The very third thing that you want to do is make sure that the music that is being used on TikTok is not originally uploaded. If you've ever used TikToks, there's two ways of getting music on there. It's either you upload it directly from your phone or you look through their catalog and use the catalog music. So you have to use the catalog music and the only way that I know to get your music on the digital platform is to use a digital distributor such as DistroKid which is what I currently use. I'll leave a discount link and affiliate link in the description below. So you have to make sure that your music is being uploaded via that method because that is the only way that these systems can track that this song is your song and can link several royalty systems to you. So make sure you use a digital distributor to get your music on to TikTok. And lastly, of course, with any form of music that is being used, you have to make sure that your music is continually and being used in enough quantities in order to generate royalties. Samro has not released how much you need to make from this royalty stream. So basically, you just have to assume that collectively you have to break the 100 Rand threshold from all the different types of royalty streams with regards to Samro. With Capasso, I think they have a higher threshold. Last time I checked, it was a 500 Rand. So with different types of revenue streams from Capasso, you have to break the 500 Rand threshold. But that concludes this video and I hope you found it informative. As soon as I have more information, more detailed information, or I can get someone from Samro or Capasso to give me proper details, I'll get them involved in in one of these videos but that concludes this video and follow me on tiktok at skill music sa and until next time skill again the hooligan signing out